Finally, Hena is able to lift her curse with Zhou Wen kissing her. This also means that both of them finally start dating. Both Hena and So Wen have agreed to keep their relationship a secret for the time being. Since they heard the vice principal telling them that teachers received a complaint because they were caught kissing at school by a student, Hena and So Wen are trying to secretly date at school. However, Chea, who likes So Wen, notices that there is something different about him. She then follows So Wen and Hena, catching them dating at school. Hena pretends not to care about teachers kissing at school, it is because she does the same things with So Wen. They manage to hide when they hear students approaching. Making them to miss each other's even more although they keep seeing each other's in the school. Later on the weekend, Hena and So Wen go on a date. They drink together, and this makes Hena keep thinking about other thoughts. After dinner, So Wen asks Hena to come to his house as she usually only comes when she wants to break the curse. They both go to So Wan's house because Yu won't be at home, he's staying at a friend's house. However, when they spend time at So Wan's house, Bo Yum shows up. He knows Hena and So Wan are dating and tries to disturb them. Bo Yum also knows where Hena is hiding in So Wan's house in his wardrobe, as she doesn't want Bo Yum to know about their relationship. Not only Bo Yum, but later Yul also returns to the house because his plans got cancelled. Hena manages to sneak away after Bo Yum leaves So Wan's house at night. Bo Yum does this because he has succeeded in making them grow closer, and now it is time for him to separate them. This separation mirrors his past experience when he was separated from Jia, also known as Cho Yong. In the past, Bo Yum liked Cho Yong, who always came to pray to him as a mountain spirit. However, they couldn't be together because Cho Young was human, and observing her hair indicated that she was married to someone else. Cho Young died after Bo Young gave her a scarf, and she and Hena were chased by guards, while So Wan tried to protect them. In the end, So Wan pointed his sword at Cho Young, possibly leading to her demise. This tragic outcome occurred because Cho Young wanted to sacrifice herself to save both of them. Since the guards were originally after her, Meanwhile, Bo Yum will discover the truth only after Cho Yong has passed away. He questions Hena about what happened to Cho Yong, and sensing Bo Yum's anger, she decides to lie, taking the blame upon herself. She cannot allow Bo Yum to find So Wan and harm him. In my opinion, Hena manages to save So Wan in this situation. At that time, So Wan and Hena liked each other from the first time they saw each other. Believing her fabricated story, Bo Yum curses her for the incident. The curse involves her family transforming into a non-human form whenever they kiss someone, and this curse is passed down through generations in Hena's family. What further infuriates Bo Yum is that he later faces a punishment for cursing Hena, who is innocent. In this twist, he realizes that Hena lied to him. The punishment he receives is to become the guardian of Hena's family, the ones cursed by him. The reason Hena's family secret remains unknown to the public until now is because of Bo Yum. Don't miss the upcoming episode on Wednesday, where Hena and So Wan will enjoy a sweet relationship, but later face a challenge from Bo Yum as the story from their past unfolds. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.